So we're gonna take a look at this one, uh, forward emails to a channel in Teams. The first thing that we'll need to put in is the email address that it's going to be sent to. And then we're gonna need the team to send this email to, our demo team, and the channel within that team. Now let's hit create and see what Power Automate comes up with. So our flow has been created. Uh, let's go to the edit button and we'll see what the flow looks like. So the first thing you're gonna have in your Power Automate flow is called the trigger. That's what this first blue box is. So our trigger now is when a new email arrives. And there's also some advanced options. So if I wanted to send all of the emails from a certain sender to this flow, or if I wanted to send emails that include attachments or that have a certain subject in the subject line, we could um, edit all of those different filters through this menu right here. The output is post a card to the channel. So you can see the first thing it's gonna ask is who we're gonna post as. We're gonna post in the channel, what team we're gonna use, the demo team, the general channel. And then this down here, this is really just what that card is going to say. And there's also more advanced options you can have in here, like what type of card. But I think this is good for us for now. And so once you have a flow written, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure it works. If there's any kind of an error in your flow, you'll see a little red dot up here um, telling you to just look at some part of your flow. So right now mine is okay. And then you'll see over here a test option. I am gonna send myself an email to manually test this flow. All right, and you can see I'm getting a new message, it says, to see it work now, send a new email to your inbox. So let me send an email to my inbox. All right, so looks like our flow was successful. And if I pop into Teams, you can see I have this new card in our general channel that says we got a new email.